what's up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog thanks for pressing play as you can see behind me here we have a really cool c8 corvette to talk about today so let's jump right into this one All right guys, so we are here with a very special kind of car today. This is of course a C8 Corvette, but this is a special C8 Corvette. So I have not actually seen one of these before and Blackout Tinning actually had this car in for some work and I contacted the owner because I thought it was really awesome and I wanted to bring it out to all you guys. So if you aren't familiar with this, this work is actually done by a company called NoWikiAutosport.com. I'm told that the owner there's name is Jeff and this is what they can turn your C8 Corvette into. Now, this particular one is a 2022 and it was totally stock whenever the owner bought this car. Then it was delivered to NoWiki Autosport to actually have the work done. Now, I'm here with the owner. His name is Steve. How you doing, Justin? I'm very well. How are you? All right, great. Thanks. I appreciate you letting me take a look at the car. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful car. Do you want to tell me a little bit about it? Well, yeah. I mean, I, you know, when GM came out with a mid-engine, I had to buy one because uh, I was looking for a sports car. But then I got connected with uh, a guy up in Michigan outside of Detroit, Jeff Nowicki, and then uh, he you know, went through all the trim work and the, and the tires and wheels and everything that he does to the car. And then uh, I decided to go, go with it. And I took my car up there and Jeff did the magic to it. So that's what you see now. Awesome. I appreciate you letting us take a look at it today. We're going to kind of crawl all over it and go over all the different options here. But guys, of course, the car is here at Blackout Tinning because Steve decided to get some expelled work done because how could you not protect a car that's this beautiful? Now, as you guys can tell, it is an Elkhart Lake Blue C8 Corvette. It is a 2LT Z51 package. And then all of the additional things went on it. So we have new wheels that are actually sized very appropriately they look really good on the car of course carbon fiber everywhere carbon fiber splitter side skirts rear diffuser boomerangs in the intakes there side view mirrors spoiler am i missing anything no that's it okay other than that guys we do have some other pieces that are very appropriate so oem stingray hash marks very cool i love the blue and red together i know some of you guys were a little iffy on that color combination before but i love it i'm a superman fan and that's what this thing looks like to me so we obviously have the the hash mark here oem again right there on the hood the interior is black and red of course to match the blue and red of the exterior now i'm, I'm going to take you down here and show you the wheels here for a second guys because these things are gorgeous but it's what's lurking behind the wheels that really has my interest and those are two-piece rotors it's interesting because the c8 doesn't come with two-piece rotors but what that's going to do is a kind of uh you know a two-fold thing obviously it looks cool but it's also going to save a lot of weight so cutting the iron rotor hats out saves weight so he has them on the front and on the rear and this is a z51 so they are the bigger calipers and uh rotors and everything so the performance is still there now at a later weight cost although there is one thing i missed in carbon fiber here this <laughs> uh, the, this whole thing i mean that that's awesome looking look at that so the entire rear hatch portion the little halo there and then i'm assuming the roof was already the roof came from the back okay yeah and then the diffuser down here which is a OEM replica, but all carbon fiber. Man, this is really awesome. Now, obviously the big thing here is the actual fender flares. I'm not typically a fan of fender flares on a car, but there is, this looks freaking amazing. Now I love this part right here because the flare literally stops and then the carbon fiber diffuser starts in and it gives it that C8R open tire look. I love that. That is really, really freaking cool. And then of course the red pinstriping on everything kind of ties in the blue and red. Love it. Oh, and one more thing, little detail. We got a car okay. carbon fiber stingray. And they're on the side. And on the side. Man, there is a lot of carbon fiber happening on this car. Very nice. Now guys, this is called a Concept 8. So from Jeff Nowicki, he's calling this the Concept 8 because it's a C8 Corvette. Apparently he does do this on C7s as well, and that would be called, you guessed it, Concept 7. Now I really like the side skirt design here because as you can see, it's kind of like a stepped approach. It's definitely different than what you can get from GM. Gives it a much bulkier appearance, which of course is awesome because the car itself is bulkier with the fender flares and the wider tires and wider wheels. Very, very nice guys. I'm really digging this thing. So back to the wheels real quick, guys. These are in fact forge line wheels. So they're what Jeff uses in this particular build. As you can see, he replaces the center cap with the concept eight carbon fiber look. 
very cool. Black lug nuts, of course. You know, we wouldn't have it any other way. And since these are forged line, you can rest assured they are forged wheels. They're lighter weight, even though these are bigger. These are a, a 20 in the front and a 21 in the rear. So they are bigger than your typical C8 Corvette setup, but they are still using the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Of course, the zero pressure or run flat tires here. And they look really good. I'm, I'm surprised. I didn't even know that Michelin made the run flats in 20s and 21s. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, just like in the rear, we also have a little bit of a carbon fiber connection up here i really like that a lot I, I really like the way that this whole kit fits together it's obviously very thought through now up here in the front we also have what looks like paragon performance maybe yeah the radiator guards yep definitely have to have those on the c8 guys you know i had something similar it's the only way to really protect those radiators and actually your radiators look very protected so how about that now the red stripe continues across the front here, obviously with the bigger than normal 5VM style front splitter. You can kind of see where the 5VM would end. So it kind of comes down and then flattens out. That's about where the 5VM comes to. So we have another inch and a half, two inches almost of splitter in the front to just give it that more aggressive wide look. To touch on the carbon fiber side view mirrors again, guys, I really like this a lot because it is a design that you haven't seen before. There is two fins in here to kind of help combat the air buffeting issue with the C8 Corvette, but also again, it just gives it a cool look. So as you guys know, the, the side marker kind of sticks out a little bit here. So it kind of flows over the whole thing now. It looks really cool. But then right below that, of course, we got that carbon fiber stingray again, even on the door, it is all carbon fiber. What I really like about the carbon fiber approach here is that all of the pieces match. So there's no difference in the, in the weave or the color or anything. It's all very stock looking because everything matches and it all fits really well. So the car doesn't look like pieces have just been randomly added to it. It looks like it was supposed to come this way and it's freaking gorgeous. I love it. Now, of course, the calipers here are the edge red, which I really like because they almost have a satin appearance to them. There's very low gloss to them, but they look perfect on this particular spec because of all the red. So like I said, the front wheels are a little bit wider. We got a 275. 5, 30, 20 on the front and in the back is real real wide and it's real things get really interesting because this is actually the same width as the new Z06 coming out. So as you can see here, they are 345 wides and that is a wide baby right there. So now though those fender flares obviously help account for the wider tire, but obviously he's also going to get a lot more traction because of the extra width, which because the car has a couple little performance mods, there is a little bit more of a power difference between the base C8 and this. We have a different aftermarket exhaust. We have an entire American Racing setup here. So the American Racing headers and the American Racing catback. Sounds pretty good. I was surprised. Is there still uh, baffles in there, I guess? No, no more baffles. It's always loud. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, it sounded good. I really liked it. And uh, obviously he also has the attack blue air filter, which as you guys know, I did a lot of testing with and I absolutely love the freaking filter. You can actually buy it from my, my store right in the description below. So guys, obviously the mods don't stop on the outside. We do have the carbon fiber red weave. Actually it's red and black. That's really cool. From Concept8, Again, very cool looking. You can see the American racing headers over here. I love that look. It's so freaking awesome to see what looks like an upside down mounted header in there. It's so cool. It's so racing car-esque. But if you come over here, you can actually see the logo there for the American racing. So sure enough, we got some American racing headers and of course the American racing exhaust, carbon fiber, every, this car, oh my God, I can't even, I can't even contain myself. The, the car is so freaking cool looking. Now, obviously, like I said before, we do have the carbon fiber here on the, uh, the boomerang or the, the intake here. Very cool again, very much so matching everything else. I mean, the, the weave is exactly the same. I really like it. It really ends up looking like something that came straight from GM, only far cooler. Now in the engine bay here, you can't see it, but he also has an attack blue air filter. Like I said, obviously we've got some all weather mats in the back too. Very option. It's very nicely optioned guys. So real quick guys, we're going to take a look on the interior. There's not much different in here, but I just wanted to show you kind of quickly because it really does jive well with the, the outside just because of the color combination. I like the black and red interior. Obviously you guys know I'm a fan of black and red with the blue. It gives it that kind of Superman esque look. I know it's either love or hate for that kind of stuff. But what I really wanted to point out in here guys is he just recently got the pro clip. So you guys have probably seen the video by now of me installing one of these on a C8 and they are just absolutely awesome. I mean, it is a great place to put your phone versus 
back here where it is really, really a pain in the butt to get it back out. So I like that a lot, love it. But yeah, the interior, like I said, not really touched much by uh, no wiki, but at the same time, I don't think you really gotta touch a whole lot in there to make it awesome. We can see here, these are actually carbon fiber all the way through, it looks like. That's pretty cool, I like that a lot. I'm a big fan of carbon fiber. I don't, I don't know any car guy that isn't. Very, very cool. Now, guys, we're gonna address the elephant in the room here price the price of this is going to vary basically on what kind of options you have and everything what i'm going to do i'm going to put jeff's info in the description down below and let you contact him and let him work out the price with you from there because it is going to vary like i said jeff i think is doing an awesome job on these things this thing looks absolutely fantastic i know steve is very happy with it a big thank you to steve for letting us uh kind of crawl over his car today he was here at blackout tinning and i thought i'd take a minute just to go over this real quick with you guys but steve again yeah. thank you uh, thank you i appreciate it Thanks, no problem Sheldon. yeah so guys i think that's about gonna do it like i said engine wise everything is pretty much stock the differences are what you can see here we got two-piece rotors front and rear wider tires front and rear wider wheels front and rear and then of course carbon fiber everywhere we got the fender flares a different exhaust different headers different intake filter at least it's just a really really cool looking car you guys have probably seen other kits like this but honestly i've seen them in person and this is one this is by far the nicest one i have seen yet like i said guys i will put jeff's information down in the description but if you don't want to go there and check it out right there is the link that will get you to the guy who can make your c8 look that freaking awesome but anyway guys that's going to wrap it up for today's video if you liked what you saw please smash that thumbs up button let me know you're liking the content so we can keep filming this kind of stuff for you it helps the channel and it helps kind of circulate this out to all the other corvette enthusiasts and whenever you're an enthusiast this kind of stuff really really tickles your fancy but Anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of content like this coming. You're not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.